Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little hearts that are personalised to someone that you love. This was an idea given to me by my aunt. Last year she made a heart for everyone that she loved and she hung them on a little tree like I've got here. And what she did was she went through her stash and she was looking at the fabric she'd got. So she made one in fabric that had got fish on, for example, her son who is a keen fisherman. So I've taken the idea and I've changed it ever so slightly. I've gone through my red and pink stash and I've also gone through my buttons and trim it box, which was great fun and I've found little trim it's to add. So I've done all the hearts either in red or pink and I've put some little scissors on this one to personalize it. And later on, I'm gonna talk you through some of the embellishments I've got and what they mean to me and what they mean to the people that are special in my life. And the fun part of this is when you've created all these hearts, you ask everyone to guess which one is theirs and why, and that's good fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really easy. So go through your reds and your pink stash and have a look and see what you've got. So for example, I've got some bee fabric here, so that would be perfect for anybody that was interested in bees, or it could even be bee kind, lots of meanings there with bees. I've got some fabric here that's got some sewing notions on. So if you've got someone in your life that loves sewing, that would be perfect. So that's what I'm going to use today. The next thing you're going to need is a template, a heart template. So these are things that you can find in books or online. So I've just got a cardboard template here that I use. And then I double my fabric and pop the heart on. So I've got two pieces of fabric and on the wrong side of the fabric, I'm just going to trace around the heart. And I like to use these iron off pens. So I'm literally tracing around the heart and then I'm going to cut that heart out. I'm just gonna pop a pin in there to hold the two bits of fabric together whilst I cut them out so that they don't move. So I get them both the same size. So just cut it out on the line. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to sew around the heart and we're going to leave a gap here. Let me put that there. We're going to leave a gap there for turning it through and we're going to use a really scant seam. So the nearer you go to your curves, the better you'll get your heart shape. So I'm just going over to the sewing machine to sew that now. So I'm just going to start sewing about halfway up, just past this little straight bit here. And as I say, I'm going to do a really narrow seam. I'm probably going to use that bit of my foot there as my guide. And I'm just going to follow it round. Stop with your needle in and lift your foot to turn it when you get to the curved bit. So you can see that I've left a gap here for turning. And the next thing you need to do is you just need to snip the bottom to take that bulk and just very carefully snip into that center of where the middle of the heart is, being careful not to go through your stitches. And then I turn it over to make sure I've caught everything 
And as you can see here, I haven't. So by turning it over, it saves me turning it through and realizing that I haven't quite caught it all in. So I'm just gonna do that bit again. So we're now going to turn it through. Just gonna use the end of this pair of tweezers to help with the turning process. Carefully, so I don't poke through my stitches. And then when I've turned it all through, I'm gonna give it a little press. And I'm just gonna press the gap so that it gives me a nice seam for when I come to hand sew that in a moment. So just turning that under, giving it a good press. So because I'm not decorating this one with anything else, because the fabric is the thing that tells the story for this person, I'm just going to stuff it and close the gap. If I wanted to put a button on or embellish it, as I have done with some of these, the time to do that would be before you sewed it together. So for example, I've got a few buttons here. So I've got a frog, a fox, a pencil, a little thimble. So anything that you find in your button box, the time to do it would be now. So if you've got somebody say, who is an artist, you would sew your button on. And then once you've sewn that on your piece of fabric, you would put the right sides together and you would sew round as I've done for this one. So the time to do your embellishment is before you sew it together. But as I said, this one, the fabric speaks for itself. So I'm just going to use some toy stuffing and I'm just going to fill it up. And it doesn't have to be really, really firm. The other thing you could do is you could put some lavender inside it if you wanted to and it would smell nice as well. I'm just using some toy stuff in today. So I'm just pushing it into the top bit of the heart and then I'm going to work downwards. And then I'm very carefully just going to close the gap and just hand stitch that. So just very small stitches. So I'm just doing over stitches here. Tiny little stitches. So that's all of our heart stitched together. And then the next thing you do on these, I've actually just used uh, twine string I think this is jute that I've used on here but it's just whatever you've got to hand and if you're using a string the way to do it so I've got something that's a bit like a butcher's twine here so the way to do it is to cut the length that you want and then put the two together like this and just put a knot in it and then loop it through like this. So 
slide the knot down and then you can stitch that to the back of your heart. So if I show you on this one, for example, you can see there's the knot and I've just stitched it onto the back of the heart like that. And then you hang it on your tree. So I'm just gonna talk you through what some of these hearts mean to people that are special to me. So this heart is for one of my daughters and she's a dog groomer. So that's why she's got the scissors on hers. This one is for somebody who likes cookies and you know who you are. So this one's quite good because there's two things going on here. So we've got bees on the fabric and then we've got a little bird. And this is for one of my grandsons who absolutely loves the outdoors and loves nature. So I'm not gonna go through any of the others because I don't wanna give the game away because they've all got to play a guessing game later. So this is a really good thing to do for Valentine's Day. So you could make some hearts for the people that you love. You could go through your button box and your sewing room and see what bits and pieces you've got to symbolise things that are special to you and to the people that you love. As always, make it your own, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.